that this module is the Internet of Things. I'm Dylan. Robert is the key. This is our IoT smart base like the monitoring system. It's stored in a greenhouse, but it has um, components similar to a plant feeder and an irrigation system. So we have our water supply here on the inside, which has a DC motor pump to supply the plant with nutrients. We have our plant here. We have our power supply on the side. We have our grove shield that our nano housed in it, which is then connected to two relays, which are subsequently connected to the fan and the pump. Up top here we have our DHT, which is a digital sensor that uh, monitors humidity and temperature. On the outside we have our OLED, which is displaying the temperature, the humidity, the soil percentage, and whether the pump and fan is on. And as you can see, the fan is on and it's represented on the OLED. So if the humidity comes above 70, as well as other um, criteria to temperature the soil, the fan should turn off, the pump should turn on, and the plant should be supplied water. So the humidity is on and our system is flooded, but <laughs> the plant is being supplied yeah. water. Yeah. And as we can see, the humidity has gone to 92% on the OLED, and the pump says it should not be off. But um, so that is okay. Just too much water supplied. But yeah. So it does um it does uh, water the plant. Yeah. And the idea is now that the reason why the pump is still on is because the humidity is still above the threshold, which I believe is seventy. Yeah. So once it drops back below that, then the pump will turn off. Okay. And then uh, you have the Wi-Fi connectivity at the company. Yes. Here we have. Here I have my phone, yeah. here's my SSID, it's iPhone, and here's the password. And then on our serial monitor up here, we can see attempted connected network iPhone, yeah. you are connected. I'm showing my IP address here, yeah. some network information, the SSID is network claim, signal strength, and then we can see the readings that are here, are also here, so we have the temperature, the humidity, and the soil, and then if we go in here, there's multiple readings taken, we can see that it's varying, so we can try. Yeah. That will keep um, going in the loop and keep supplying new um, readings as well as on the OLED. Okay, so Wi-Fi is used for sending information to the, uh, Yeah. And it 
able to communicate with? <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay. Yep. So Yeah. So yeah. So right now the temperature is so between what the tree to lose. Is it? What's the minimum temperature? Yeah, it's between twenty two degrees. Mm -hmm. And um, 25 degrees. Yeah. So right now you can see that it's temperature is temperature is normal. Yeah. And if the temperature is higher, the so this would be the ideal temperature. Yeah, that'll be the ideal temperature. And because of that, your heater is not working yeah, and no, your fan is not working. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's yeah. make it cold. Someone left the door open, the window open. Great job. Well done, everyone. That says is connected with the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And now we can just start now to click here. Um, now it's turned off. Yeah. 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 
but that is your so alright yep well done everyone connected up to an ESP8266 microchip. We have a relay here that's then connected up to a battery and then the water pump. So when on, we have a WhatsApp over here and this is connected up to a web server. And the web server is then connected up to the microchip. So whenever we type in commands on WhatsApp, it will then go over to the microchip and for example, if we type in pump on, the pump turns on and it tells you that the pump is on. When you type pump off, it turns off and you also get a notification telling you whether the plant needs water whether it's okay or whether the plant is watered well enough. You can also type in soil status and this tells you again the plant needs to be watered. Okay and that's because your sensor is dry. Yeah, yeah. our sensor has no water on yeah. it at the moment but if you, you put it, it if you put it into a bottle of water unfortunately we don't have any soil for this but yeah. Uh, so then if I type in another soil status. Soil status again. As you can see, plant is good. Yeah, Yay. plant is good. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. is if you generate the density detection, you display it, it shows the temperature and, thing, and also sends the data back to the phone. Mm -hmm. And, and that means that the door opens. 
and now Okay, yeah, great. Thank you everyone.